Hey there, today I've got an awesome trading strategy to share with you. It's super effective and involves using Bollinger Bands and RSI on a 4-hour time frame. This strategy is simple, easy to use, and has a high success rate if you use it correctly. So let's dive right in and check it out. The first step for this strategy is setting up the Bollinger Bands. If you've never used Bollinger Bands before, you're lucky you clicked this video because this indicator is absolutely incredible and is a great way to find support and resistance levels. So the first thing we want to do is to go to TradingView or whatever trading chart platform you use, click the Indicators tab, and type in Bollinger Bands. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the Length section and make sure its value is 20. Make sure the standard deviation is set to 2. Then I'm also going to remove the background of the indicator and change the color of the lines to white. This is all personal preference. You can do whatever you prefer here. So if you didn't know, this is how Bollinger Bands work. The Bollinger Band consists of three lines. There are the upper band, lower band, and the middle band. The middle band is a simple moving average. By default, its length set to 20. So whatever the length is, this indicator is going to produce the average price of that security from a set period. The lower and upper lines are standard deviation lines. Standard deviation is the statistical measure of market volatility measuring how widely prices are dispersed from the average price. All right, since we got covered the Bollinger Bands basics, now let's add the RSI. To do this, just go to your Indicators tab, type in RSI, and then click this top one that says Relative Strength Index. Now that we have RSI added, let's modify the settings a bit. Make sure that the upper band is set to 70 and your lower band is set to 30. If you haven't used RSI before, it's a great momentum indicator to tell you if a certain security is being overbought or oversold. So basically, if the line is above the 70 value, it's being overbought. If the line is below the 30 value, it's being oversold. Now it's time to pair these two indicators together and get some profitable trades going. So there is a breakout strategy that I personally use during uptrend and choppy markets. What's the breakout strategy you may ask? Well, breakout stands for the price of the security to break out from some predetermined lines or conditions. So to put it simply, we expect prices to break out from the upper Bollinger Bands, which is exactly what we're going to be shooting for with this strategy. So as an example, in most cases, if there is extreme price movement in one direction, whether it's up or down, we can pretty much predict that big price movement will break out from upper or lower bands at some point of time. So if the price goes above the upper Bollinger Band, we want to enter a long trade. If the prices go below the lower Bollinger Band, we want to enter a short trade. Simple enough, right? Well, if you did this by itself, odds are it wouldn't work too well. That's why we added the RSI earlier. Now, as you can see in this example, the price went above the Bollinger Bands many times, giving lots of false signals. So if you went in every time here, you probably lost money. To solve this issue, we are going to add one more requirement. You can only go in if the RSI sits below 70, meaning we can only enter a long trade if the price breaks the upper Bollinger Band and the RSI is still below the value of 70. Now I'm going to show you how to improve the strategy to get a good exit for trade. In this example, we will use the RSI as an exit condition. So whenever RSI is higher 70, we consider this as an overbought scenario. This alone should immediately raise a red flag. Most times we want to exit from the trade to get good long-term results. So in this case, it is actually very hard to follow up the price and indicators if you trade manually. But don't worry, Vestinda got you covered. Let's craft this strategy in our strategy builder and see the results. First, I've created a new strategy. Now, I'm going to enter strategy name. I'm going to use Bollinger Bands Breakout with RSI name for this one. Now, let's set up our buy conditions. We want to buy when the price crosses above the Bollinger Bands upper line. To do that, we need to find cross in the indicators list, then drag and drop it to the entry conditions. Here, we want to set up our conditions of the cross. For crossing under, we set Bollinger Bands upper, and for crossing upper, we set close price. Then we click on BBU and make sure the source is set to Bollinger Bands middle, standard deviation to 2, and now make sure SMA and standard dev length is both set to 20. Now let's add AND operator and find RSI in the indicators list. Drop it with default settings. Then we need to add less than operator and drop number. We set the number to 70. So now whenever closing price is breaking out from upper Bollinger Bands, we get a buy signal. But with added RSI, it is acting like a filter executing entries only when RSI is below 70. Now moving to sell conditions, we want to exit when RSI is greater than 70. To do that, we find relative strength index and drop greater than operator with number 70 after it. Now let's backtest our strategy on Bitcoin. Let's choose a period for backtesting of the last two years. 
Now the results of back testing are obtained, we can see detailed info on our setup. 85% win rate and a big profit factor. Now let's delve deeper into the results. We can see the chart with our entries and exits. To put it in perspective, let's add Bollinger Bands and RSI. To do that, click the Indicators tab and type in Bollinger Bands. Do the same for RSI. Now we can exactly pinpoint our entry and exit points. Let me explain again how it works. So at first, when the price line crosses upper Bollinger Band, we get an entry, but then with adding RSI indicator, it even gets more precise, allowing us to enter only when price is having good momentum and not overbought. Ultimately, exiting when RSI is bigger than 70 allows us to exit quite early to make sure we got at least some move, especially during choppy market phase. And there you have it. From mastering the Bollinger Band's basics, we've evolved into crafting a high win rate strategy with Vestinda Strategy Builder. The best way about Vestinda is that you can fine tune and polish your strategy on the go, making small changes to the entry or exit conditions and see the results before going to real trading. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.